the climatization process is to go get up high, spend a bunch of time up there, sleep down low. And ideally you recover and each time you go back up to higher elevations, you are that much stronger. Still have a lot of climatizing to do. Still moving slow and uh, feeling the altitude. <coughs> we get as high as we can today. That is the goal, even though it is a whiteout, but uh, there's rumors of a high pressure in five days. So if we can just get up in the 19,000 foot range, like today and tomorrow, even in a whiteout, set us up for snowboarding at 19 and 20,000 feet in a couple days. Just up, up and away. A boy came from the audience, motion through the stars, said it was a full all the light we'll need for walking Paul King. And it's a sin. man. It's like a thin layer of what's snow on top. What do you think of that snow? I think it's good. It's not propagating. I don't think it will form a slab. Day 17, we finally made it to the saddle of Mingula, which we thought we would have ran right up key in our progression to hopefully get on the spines. I think our biggest challenge up there, getting over those like kind of cornice fracture lines. But there's a line that goes just right there. Just right there. there for sure. Let's see what this ridge feels like. All right, you can lower me, Luca. It's just this little curb. Seems like we just go really slow on this. We'll be more supportive on the steep aspect. Don't do this. So I can't see nothing. I just rode from 19 in a whiteout. Definitely <coughs> feel the <coughs> altitude. Tiring, huh? <sighs> so we still got a lot to go, but we kind of took our first step today, which feels uh, really good. And it was a good, confident, positive step, which will hopefully lead to being able to ride the objective we came here, which is this, most beautiful spine wall you've ever seen.